Hello everyone, this is Olga. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you a few tips on coloring in Serena coloring book by Mardil Rubin. I'm sure many of you have got this beautiful book and of course all of us want to color it in the most beautiful way possible. Uh, so I hope that my small tips will help you in achieving better results in coloring in this book. What can I say? I love this book. I love the illustration. They are simply amazing. Uh, so far I have colored uh, three illustrations in the book. Three and a half to be precise. <laughs> One is still work in progress. And uh, there is one thing that really annoys me about this book. And uh, this is um, thick, crispy black lines of the illustrations, of most of the illustrations. Um, when you fill in the picture with color, these lines, uh, they still stand out, especially if you use lighter colors. And it's not something that I like. And in some cases, like on this page, with pearls, the, bl the black lines uh, would really not let you achieving the desired effect. Like, I wanted the pearls to look realistic, but with black lines around them, it would not be possible. So. I wanted to get rid of those black lines and how to do that? Uh, the most common way is uh, using a white gel pen and that's what I tried first on two pearls only and it didn't work because um, when I tried to color over the white paint uh, pencil didn't work well over them. They kind of glided. And when I tried to push harder to get color, uh, the paint just uh, got scratched off. And as a result there was a mess. Um, then if you want to uh, leave the white uh, color around and fill in only the inside, then still it didn't look uh, good because the thickness of the lines <coughs> they still stand out. They're white but still not looking good. Uh, so then I tried the second method on all the rest of, uh, of the pearls. <coughs> I co covered them completely with uh, white acrylic paint. <coughs> I put three thi thin layers, <coughs> sorry, and when it uh, dried, I used color pencils over the pearls in the usual way, and it worked beautifully. <coughs> As you can see, no trace of black lines over the pearls and here's my tip number one <coughs> if you want to get rid of uh, the black lines in this book don't use white gel pen but use white uh, acrylic paint instead don't forget that you need to use matte acrylic paint not uh, the glossy one put it in uh, thin layers over the black lines until they are hardly visible and uh, wait till it dries and use colored pencils as normal. So next, um, the paper in this book is uh, quite toothy and um, <coughs> to achieve a smooth result of the surface you will need either using too many layers of pencils or of course you will need uh, using a blender or a white pencil to blend the colors. Here are blue color, maybe you can notice. 
I put five layers of pencils for water and still you can see white here and there. The surface is not smooth, but in this case I uh, left it like this on purpose because it's water and I want it to be like this. But uh, on other parts of the illustration, of course, I wanted a smooth effect and I needed to use blender. <coughs> And here comes my tip number two. These uh, thick lines, not only they are thick and unattractive, when you accidentally go with a blender over them, uh, they smudge off. And then this smudged color uh, mixes with the color you're using and creates, creates a really dirty uh, looking color. And it's really hard to fix uh, the mess. <coughs> so, when you're using a blender or a white pencil for blending the colors, uh, be very careful and avoid any contact with the black lines. In this way, uh, you you will avoid. Um, <laughs> do the looking mess. Okay, and um, my last tip is uh, for those who want to use um, such art materials like uh, watercolor, aqua markers or markers, water-based markers uh, for coloring in this book. I used, uh, I used watercolor here for the shell and I used aqua markers for most of this illustration castle water um, and when I colored the castle and the water after two days I noticed that um, the color became very pale much paler that than I first uh, put it so the paper seems uh, to be very ab absorbing. It literally, literally sucks up the color and in a day or two it um, becomes much paler than it has been intended. So when you want to use these um, wet materials for coloring in this book, <coughs> I recommend to put two layers straight away or put one layer and then wait for a day or two and see whether the colors um, still look as bright as when you put them uh, and only after um, seeing that the colors are to your taste <coughs> or after putting additional layers uh, do do shadings. <coughs> so these are my uh, few tips on coloring in this book. I hope they were helpful for you and will help you to create better results. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, until the next time.